We're the JTFAC. We're the Joint Theater Forensic Analysis Center. We handle all the forensic exploitation for the AFRICOM area of operation. JTFAC supports all U.S. military services, our foreign and allied partners, and various U.S. and foreign state department agencies. The JTFAC has multiple stations. We have triage, latent print, DNA, chemistry, firearms and tool marks, electronic exploitation and document media exploitation, and intelligence analysis. Triage is the first place that the evidence comes. I make sure that it's safe to go through the rest of the lab. I do that by looking at it, and if I can't see into it, I use my x-ray machine and check it out from the inside. Latent prints are finger or palm prints that are naked to the invisible eye and require some sort of processing in order to visualize them. We will receive material collected from in the field and then we will deconstruct that evidence and analyze it and process it for latent prints. After latent prints are finished with the evidence, they will submit it to us, DNA and we will screen the items for the presence of biological samples. The biological samples can be visible, like blood, or they can be invisible, like saliva or touch DNA. The DNA process um, does not interfere with the evidence itself, so it can still go on to the next disciplines, which would then be chemistry. When the evidence reaches me, I am looking for any chemical identification that can point me to the enemy's techniques, tactics, and procedures related to drug manufacture and explosives weapon manufacture. We're able to collect evidence from a post-blast incident and predict backwards what type of explosive they used in the event. For electronics exploitation, I want to determine what frequency the device operates at, what data is being transmitted, and I will take various other measurements, assessing trends and producing electronic profiles. As a firearms and toolmark examiner, I'm trying to determine the what and the how of an incident. I am determining identifications and origins of various weapon systems, firearms, and ammunition components. We take any of the uh, matches, let's say from fingerprints or DNA or firearms tool marks, and we collect that and we're able to provide that to any partner forces or, or U.S. forces that work with us here at the lab to find how the battlefield and the battle space is directly affected by material that's brought into the lab. The JTFAC's end goal mission is to support the warfighter within the region by providing real-time actionable intelligence for analysis.